Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a brand new release, 2023 Topps Archives Baseball. 10 box, pick your team number one from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Second, uh, pick your team in the store right now. It's already halfway there, so get your teams before someone else does. Here's the final printout. We sold it out straight up, no fillers, which is nice. There on the 8th, Wednesday the 8th, hump day, pick your team one. There's everybody right here. Thank you everyone for getting in, appreciate you. And we got Chris with Double Last Bob Mojo with the Padres and the Rays. And there's everybody else. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And away we go. This is about a 40, 45 minute break, give or take. We blocked out an hour just to be safe. What are we looking for in archives this year? Collect the entire 300 base card set, pulling designs from 56, 65, and 03. And there's two on-card autographs per box? Has there, was there always two? That's pretty good. I like that. There you go. All right. See what we got in here. Good luck, everybody. I'm gonna use some really strong shrink wrap this year. Jeez. Pretty powerful shrink wrap. Oh, we got 3D glasses in here as well. Um, I guess we'll randomize that to one person in the break, to a person in the break. Is there 3D glasses in every box? We'll find out. If so, then we'll, uh, how should we do it? Oh, we'll, uh, however many there are, first person, name on top, we'll get one, second name, we'll get one, third name, we'll get one, so on and so forth. Will I need to use these 3D glasses at some point? A lot of blue in there, is this some sort of hot box? I don't know, anyone have any answers for me? In the chat? Can crowdsource this information? Do we have a checklist up? No, Jason wants to get something else. All right, Easy Node has answers. So yes, glasses and all. Nice. All right, so we'll run a randomizer, and then there's ten boxes, right? So top ten will get a pair of 3D glasses each. What about the blue? Are these uh, are these hot boxes? Oh, maybe not. They just have the. Oh, that's the O3 Tops base has that blue border. Okay, so yeah, we have rainbow foil to 199, green foil to 99, aqua sparkle foil to 75, red hot foil to 50, blue foil boards to 25, hobby boxes only, orange to 15, hobby box only, and foil fractors are your one of ones. All right, pretty cool. All right, let's see what we got here. Good luck, everybody. Man, there's our first autograph, and it's uh, a baby boomer. That's what it is, baby boomers. Rookie autograph, Alec Burleson. 
That's pretty cool right there on the card. That's uh, David and the Cardinals. One of the last teams picked up. Pretty fun little insert here. And we've got one of these. These are pretty cool. We'll go to the Yankees. It's Aaron Judge for Matt. And these are facsimile autographs, obviously. Bobby Witt Jr. Jeremy Pena. There's Adley Rushman, Baby Boomers. It's a cool looking insert. Lou Gehrig to 199, foil. Set the other side over here. More inside baseball. Still looking for our second autograph. There's some green. Aaron Judge, 88 out of 99. And there it is. Our second autograph is Taj Bradley. Nice rookie auto for the Rays. Chris M with the Rays. And last spot mojo. I think one of the cheaper teams there. It won't take too much to get that value back. Those are our two autographs. Let's see if we can find any more parallels here. Gunnar Henderson inside baseball. Number crunchers, Jeff McNeil. Altman and Fredo. All right, box one, good start. pair of glasses that we'll give away. And another box. Good luck. Any other fun notes in here? Hobby SKUs offer a chance for exclusive autographs via the 1989 double headers dual autograph variations and 1997 tops Hobby Masters autographs, number to 23. Low number signatures arrive in the 1969 Team History Image Variation autographs, hand number to 20, tops original buyback autograph to 10, and 2022 tops Astros World Series Champions buyback autographs to 22. And I guess there's a hobby collector's box that you can purchase. A collector's retro lunch box. Oh, do we have any of those in the store? Oh, there's a
All right, well, some nice stuff. And we can anticipate. I like the two autos, two on-card autos. A box is always nice. A lot of injuries for the Lakers here. Lakers Rockets tonight. Anthony Davis is out. Vanderbilt's out. Gabe Vincent's out. But Hachimura is back. A Jackie Robinson that looked a little different, but uh, there it is. Nice inside baseball, Jackie Robinson. There's a uh, Christopher Morrell, and that is to 50. That'll be for the Cubs, that's for Sanford and the Cubbies. Bleacher Reachers, Willie Mays. Willie Mays Hayes. Michael Conforto, that's to 199. Shohei Otani inside baseball. Anyone have any Otani thoughts? Otani predictions? I mean, I guess probably end up being linked to every team one way or the other. Here's our first autograph. It is Ted Simmons. Nice. Old school Cardinal going to David. Chrome Fisk. I guess, um, that one has a black border. That's a gray border, gold foil, not numbered, but it might be a little bit, might be a little bit different. Worth looking up on the checklist. I guess maybe it's just they're just all different colors. Never mind. <laughs> and Will Brennan is our second on-card autograph. Cleveland, this is for you. Eddie with the Guardians. And the rookie auto. Nice. Eric, what's going on? How are you? All right, so those are our two autos, and I'll do an autograph recap at the end, along with any cards that are we find that happen to be notable or low numbered or something like that. All right, another box. I really use some strong shrink wrap this year. I'm doing well. Just ripping open some new releases. That's it's always. It's always nice, so thanks everybody who filled this up. Will I have use for those 3D glasses in this set, ladies and gentlemen? Are there 3D cards in here? We got inserts, Baby Boomers, Season's Best. We got comics, Hit Stars, Team History Image Variations, Hobby Masters. 
And going with the 3D glasses, the Hobby Exclusive Topps Baseball 3D Series supply some added depth to MLB stars. So I guess there are 3D cards in here. Hmm. Are there, is there a specific number of 3D cards on this checklist here? I don't see it, but I guess. Oh, there it is. I don't, uh, the 1954 3D set checklist is one in every six packs. But it didn't look like any of those required the use of the 3D glasses. But there's 20 players on that checklist. I don't know. We'll see. We'll find out. So I think it's those black border cards, but it doesn't look like it requires the use of a 3D. 3D glasses. Maybe we'll find something in this case. Yeah, maybe they are cases. I feel like they would say if it was like a one per case for the situation. We'll find out. There's the Baby Boomers inserts. Yeah, well, hey, help us fill up some more cases and we'll, I guess we'll, we'll find out scientifically. We got Jacob deGrom Green to 99. Rangers, that'll be for Richard. And they managed to win the World Series without the services of, of Jacob deGrom. So these are the these are the, the 3D cards, but doesn't require 3D glasses. Maybe the ones that do, because it looks like there's a picture of one in the in cardboardconnection.com, which makes it seem like I would need those 3D glasses. But maybe those are it. Don't know. And we'll figure this out together. Thank you. We got Kings of the Swing, Pete Alonzo. Evan, where does Shohei Otani end up this off season? He's going to sign a one-year extension with the Angels. Oh. And then he's going to go full free agent when he can pitch wow. his full allotment of money. Wow. That's what I think. I've heard that before. There's Freddy Sanchez and the Pirates. That'll be Richard Miller. What about you, Joe? Yeah, I think that's definitely a possibility. We've, we've, we've been floating that idea here on the stream of that one-year deal. Ron Washington, too. So I bet you they consulted him before they hired him. Hmm. That's true. That's a good point. There's leading looters, Cedric Mullins to 99. That's for the Orioles. Matt, do I have 3D glass? I do. One per box. 
So it doesn't look like you need 3D glasses for this, but maybe there's an actual one that where you do. And a Baby Boomers autograph, Bobby Wood Jr. Nice. Royals. And it'll be from Matthew, Kansas City. And that's numbered 13 out of 50. I don't think that other Baby Boomers was numbered. No, it was not. All right, nice. So those are our two autos. So we'll save, save a Corbin Carroll or two. All card ship. Chris Parent with that one. We find some numbered cards of those rookie Corbin Carrolls. That would be nice. Your presumptive NL rookie of the year. All right, next box. Uh, two autos per box. Yeah, I don't know how popular archives would be if, if it was only two autos a case. Well, I guess the rarity would increase the value of those autos, though. All right. Uh, pretty cool. They got 3D glasses in every box. Oh, that's cool. So what are we doing with them? Randomizing them. Oh, okay. Top ten. Get a three each. Get a 3D glass. Glasses. Now, I don't know if there's any ca any reason for us to use those glasses, because that's supposed to be like the 3D card, right? But it looks like there's actually a card that may require the use of 3D glasses. Oh. But I don't know. It, it just says hobby exclusive tops baseball 3D ser series supplies some added depth down. So I don't know if there's an actual one hiding in there somewhere. We'll see. Two on-card autos of box is nice too. Were there, were there always two autos of box? I think so. And they're all on-card. Yeah, I think they've always been on-card for the that's, most part. That's pretty nice. Maybe I'm maybe I'm I'm mixing this up with Heritage probably. Okay, I think I would. I think I would like. Uh, I like. I think they traditionally like archives a little bit better than Heritage. Heritage is fun too. Heritage have writing products? I get those two mixed up. Chase is recycling this. Uh, we're gonna recycle that uh, Home Alone Kevin Hart commercial, huh? This holiday season, we're gonna have to see this a million times. Necessarily mind commercials per se. Maybe just maybe companies just aren't making commercials as often these days in this economy. But I don't mind commercial, but I just like sometimes you see the same ones a zillion times. I don't I don't need that. Make some different commercials. Make some different commercials. Alright, next box. Onwards. Got a Sean Murphy to 199. Inside baseball. Pretty fun to maybe build a build a set out of those uh, inside baseball comic book cards.
think there's a parallel I haven't seen yet. There we go, the Joey Manessis parallel. There it is, there's the number right there. It is 75, 1975, going to Rick and the Nats. And there's Kevin Kiermeyer. Blue Jays. That will be for Richard Miller in Toronto. Should be one more auto in here. And Miguel Amaya, rookie auto for the Cubs. That's going to be for Sanford and the Cubbies. They've got a new manager, Craig Council. I've been reading some people thinking that Craig Council's contract uh, could reset the contract market for managers. So, oh. thanks a lot, Cubs, <laughs> for making managers' contracts more expensive. Going for hey, no worries, Rick. Thanks for getting in. Appreciate you. All right, box five of ten. It looks like Lakers Rockets have tipped off. Rockets have a fun young team to watch. Forgot they have Dylan Brooks on that team. Everyone gets a shot at those 3D glasses. We'll just we'll just randomize all of your names and top ten will get a pair each. Enjoy. No Anthony Davis tonight. He's got hip spasms. Has anyone have a ever had a hip spasm? Back spasms, I've heard of. I have thankfully not suffered back spasms. Am I going to do a box with the 3D glasses on? No, because they're all going to go to you. But you, when you unbot, when you receive your hits, Rick, you can uh, pop on. If you win one of those, you can pop on one of those 3D glasses. And then uh, see if there's a. These cards have a different vibe to them. Maybe. Now, as as a glasses wearer, as some of you might be a glasses wearer, <laughs> could I get? Can I get a prescription? 3D glasses. Is that? Is that a thing you think? You think my uh, my vision coverage will cover that? I should ask. I should call up my uh, my vision care provider and be like, I'm thinking of getting prescription 3D glasses. Talk to me here. How much how much are you guys going to cover for that? Hopefully all of it. Next box, good luck. If I were you, ladies and gentlemen, buy a box of this at your local hobby shop because I feel like out of 199 Drew Waters, there's a lot of fun eye candy here. I know group break wise, we can't really linger too much on all these fun cards, but it might be worth getting a box or two at your shop and then leisurely, you know, ripping through these packs and kind of admiring all the different inside baseball stuff, all the vintage designs, get a couple on-card autographs.
And there's an orange Hank Aaron to 15. Maybe find some low numbered cards like this. That goes to Jeremy Port and the Braves. Hammer and Hank. Nice seeing those low numbers as well. Love that. Look at those stats. Ooh. There's a Hilltoppers, Nolan Ryan. Still need our two on-card autographs. Where are you? There's one, Jim Rice. Got a nice autograph. That's for D.Y. and Boston. The Bo Sox, the Red Sox. It's a nice clean look there. Mark McGuire. We got green foil Mookie Betts. Oh, and behind him, Jackie Robinson. Nice. Six out of 99. That's cool. I don't like that little dent right there, unfortunately, from the manufacturing process, but it's a sweet looking card. Maybe we'll find another one of those for Richard Miller. And there's a Jeter Downs, rookie autograph for the Nats. Rick Serrano, there you go, Rick S, another one. Another nice one going your way, there we go. There are your two autos. And a Prince Fielder. What's Prince Fielder doing these days? That's the 75. Patrick with the Brew Crew. All right, halfway through the break. Five boxes down, five boxes to go. All right. You're welcome, Rick. Thanks for getting in. Yeah, Richard, all cards ship. It's uh, these days, it's pretty rare where we don't ship everything. Now, Prince Fielder's personal life, Wikipedia, not, not very big. He was named after his grandfather. Got married in 05. Filed for divorce in May of 2013, but reconciled by March of 2014. They reside in Florida. Yes. On a baseball note, Fielder was included on the ballot for the Hall of Fame class of 2022, but after the ballot was counted, he was in ineligible for future balloting because due to receiving less than 5% of the total vote. Which I think maybe if he was healthy, I wonder if he would have, things would have been a little, a little different for his career. Wow, as a result of Council's unexpected move to the Cubs, the sign for Craig Council Park, located in his hometown of Whitefish Bay, was vandalized. I mean, I, 
I suppose Craig Council could have said no. But... I mean, Milwaukee, he was a free eight. I mean, his contract was up. I don't know what they're angry about. I, mean, I don't know how big is the Brewers-Cubs rivalry. I don't know if that's really a, a long-standing rivalry. Baby Boomers, Julio Rodriguez. There's David Ortiz to 199. Inside baseball, Corbin Carroll. I mean, yeah, it's, I don't know if it's that big, Rex. I feel like it's a one-way rivalry. <laughs> sort of like Dodgers-Padres. The Padres think it's a rivalry. The Dodgers fans don't. Like, I think Milwaukee thinks there's a rivalry, but I don't think Cubs really consider the Brewers a big rival. Yeah, Dodgers Giants, Cubs Cardinals. Those are those, those are those are long-standing classic rivalries. Fans claim they are they are be betrayed by 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 whom? I don't think the Brewers work very hard to retain Craig Council. I mean, I guess Craig Council made it seem like he wasn't going to return anyway. You know, maybe they're mad that he went to so-called rival. I, mean, I don't know. Bryce Harper, and I guess those cards have it. It's kind of cool, actually. Not all of them have that double back, right? And there's a David Wright. Mets legend David Wright going to David. David uh, Yonensen. David Y. With the David W. It's pretty sharp. I like that. Should be one more auto? Yeah, that Jeter Downs was from the previous box, right? Oh, there it is. It's, uh, it's Masanori Murakami. Giants, my rivals. That's going to go to Walter in San Francisco. Is he one of the first Japanese players, or just let alone an Asian player, to be in Major League Baseball, maybe? All right, another box. Um, I have no idea, Eric. So those double-sided cards are a few per box, Richard is saying. So there's an Adley and Gunner one. I want to look out for that one. That's got a, That's pretty cool. Maybe there, maybe there was one already. Matt has the Orioles, but I'll try to keep an eye out for one to, to sleeve and top load. Oh, I passed on. I'm sure that 
I'm sure I did. Craig walked into the, walked into their office to tell them. Yeah, I'm, uh, I think they let Craig Council interview for other jobs too. So I mean, I don't know why they were so blindsided. I saw any celebrity autos on the checklist. Maybe that was just a. Did they, they don't often do that. Maybe this year they, they, they didn't. Yeah, I think they haven't for a little while. Ah, gotcha. They let him talk to other places early on, but they had to wait for the final end of November first. He had the meeting with the Cubs. Him, I think they would have let him. I think they would have given him an extension before his before his walk here. All right, another box. Gunnar Henderson, baby boomers. Paul Goldschmidt, 41 out of 99. You read everywhere where everyone thought he was going to the Mets. Yeah, I thought, that's what a lot of people were speculating. But as we know, in the silly season, in the in the off season, you know, you, there'll be tons of speculation all over the place. No one really knows anything. I suppose you can make calculated guesses, you know. <laughs> you can make some deductions based off of, off of, you know, whatever information we have available. But at the end of the day, you know, you don't know if a general manager is going to be in secret negotiations with, with, a, with a potential manager. There's Anthony Rendon, red to 50, a little color match there for the Halos. That'll be for Mark. And there's Barry Zito. Barry Zito for the A's, John with Oakland. Do I think Otani will happen pretty early? Be, uh, yeah, I have no idea. I mean, I, for the sake of the rest of free agency, you know, everyone will probably hope that the Otani domino falls early. That way all, all these teams can can uh, put in some work, right? Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? All right, we'll do front back randomizers on these. 
that are two for five. And there's Michael Massey, rookie auto for the Royals. So a couple in that 90s design there. That'll be for, for Matthew, Kansas City. Another box down, another box to go. I, I not not when they have uh, two different teams on them, Eric. You know, just just a little a little more work that the shipping team has to deal with. And, you know, just a little extra work. Every, every minute counts when you're trying to be trying to ship stuff to you as quickly and as efficiently as possible. Rex doesn't like it because if you PC, yeah, it's hard to display. I mainly didn't, don't like the, the, the two different team part. Randomizing. Randomizer, run that. You have one happy, one sad, or one happy side, one sad side. Unless the same person has both teams, Diamondback, Chris Parent, Jeremy Port, Atlanta Braves. So Sport, you're in on that one. Front and back autos. We, have, we haven't seen a front and back auto in a little while, right? Maybe maybe the industry has also agreed that that was not a good idea. I guess the last time I've seen was probably like a Leaf product where there's like eight autos and there'd be four on the front and four on the back. everybody another box we got more of this in the store folks jazbeescasebreaks.com if you want to run another one of these back tonight we can do it we sold this one out straight up I think we can sell another one out straight up there's a Victor Robles to 25 for the Nationals it'll be for Rick S See, this one, both Mets. That one I like. We're say a Suzuki to 199. Has, has Panini done with NT? Front back? Stack. See, that's that. That'll also be subject to the front back randomizer. And there is an autograph. Pudge, Yvonne Rodriguez for the Florida Marlins. 
That will be Rick S. There you go, Rick. I mean, that's that that F with the Marlin on it. Bring that logo back. That's a great logo. That's 29 out of 50 on that one as well. What's up, Mark? I do, I don't know. I'm going to do a recap. I, I, I honestly don't remember. I was not keeping track of Angel's hits. Here's a Jackie Robinson to 69, 45 out of 69. It'll be for Richard M. And there's Sean Green. Must be a Sean Green day. We saw, we saw him, uh, Sean Green day? Sean Green day? Um, in a different break, we saw an autograph of Sean Green of five. Here's a Sean Green from the brand new archives, Richard Miller with my Dodgers. And then there's Casey Mize. 75 for the Tigers, that will be for Richard M. All right, two boxes to go. Yeah, Pudge is, Pudge is pretty great. Is his son still in baseball? His son a relief pitcher? I think he was with the, I feel like he was with the Giants for a little while. Oh, that would be cool. Rex is saying there are there are uh, some super rare photos of the Nolan Ryan Ventura that have Pudge trying to pull Ventura off, and all three have signed it. You think uh, if any of those guys are at, I mean, I guess Pudge would, but if, if there's like Nolan Ryan or Robin Ventura, if they're at, like at a card show at a signing, I think they, I guess they have been autograph, autograph eight by tens of that, right? Of both players? So I guess maybe they do sign them. I was wondering if maybe they, they don't. Like, I don't know, if I'm Robin Ventura, and you're, you're getting your face pounded in by, by some old guy, would you, want, would you want to be autographing those? Unless, I mean, he's had a nice career, maybe, uh, maybe, maybe it's water under the bridge. Come on, Lemmy Lakers. Lakers, what are you guys doing? They got they got to they got to start these first quarters a lot better. They're going to give up 31 points to the Rockets in the first quarter. They only have 18. I think they gave up like over 30, maybe 40 to the Orlando Magic in the first quarter last year. Come on, wake up, guys. Oh, there you go. So you got one that's Nolan and Ventura both signed at different times. Ventura used to sign just to get money now, but you've been told that he refuses now, so maybe he's over it now. Or maybe he has a dual auto of his own at home that he, uh, that he doesn't want to water down the value. the penultimate box. And there's this guy, Egai Rosario for the Padres. That'll be for Chris M, one of his Last Ball Mojo teams. Last Ball Mojo, 70% of the time. 
It's 100% of the time. You always like the Mookie, uh, Mookie Wilson Bill Buckner dual autograph. Yeah, I feel like Buckner has handled that pretty, uh, pretty admirably over the, over the years. Everyone remember the, uh, I think it was Curb Your Enthusiasm, right? Had a, had a Buckner episode. That was a pretty good one if you're, if you're into that show, if you want to revisit that. Pablo Lopez for the Twins. That's two out of 25, nice. Minnesota, that's gonna be for Eric. And there's leading looters, Ozzy Smith. Well, I thought that might be numbered, but it's not. That's a fun insert though, nice. And a surprise redemption, that's Freddie Free. But it, don't we have his picture on the on our product page? Maybe that's a mock-up. So there's a 1957 Topps Hits SARS autograph variation. Freddie Free, maybe, maybe you just didn't get around to those. And it looks like they waited as long as possible. I think that's generally what that is. They have to slap the sticker on there. They wait as long as possible for him to submit it, so they didn't have time to. They didn't even have time to print the uh, the redemption. Is Buckner not with us anymore? <laughs> Dodgers, Richard Miller, by the way. Yeah, he passed away in 2019. Couldn't have been that old. 69 years old. It's not that old. Buckner died May 27, 2019 of Lewy body dementia. Hmm, that's sad. It's just a form of dementia. Across the spectrum. Sad. Bryce Turing looks like it's going to be numbered. It is to 199. All right, final box coming up. We made it. We'll do a quick little recap and some randomizers at the end of this. And there's 14 left and pick your team two. Nice, I see a, see a lot of orders coming in. I'll be sure to go through some orders before I step away from my break. I did promise that if we have uh, if any of those like one box division breaks or something like that sells out, I'll do that before the break. And everyone, everything else still a little ways away. That would got Tom Seaver as well with the men's shit. 
Um, Rex is wondering if anyone owns a dual auto of of Odor and Bautista. And they're and they're little. I mean, they're not tying those, right? ultimate box the final box good luck everybody thanks for watching thanks for getting in thanks for joining the break thanks for uh hanging out and chatting with me throughout the break keeping me company throughout a longer break appreciate it number crunchers got more in the store so check it out jazpyscasebreaks.com I like that Josh Young Baby Boomers card. World champion already in his young career. This Mookie Betts Jackie Robinson card is pretty cool. It's Nolan Jones for the Rockies. That's 83 out of 99. That's for Tristan. Do the, Ro uh, do the not Rockies, do the Rangers win another one, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, there are some of those dual headers Signed by both. That'd be interesting. Do the Rangers win another World Series? Like this, I guess this group of Rangers. Do they win another one in the next five seasons? A lot of those guys are on pretty long contracts. And a Baby Boomers rookie autograph, Oscar Gonzalez. Nice. Cleveland, this is for you. Eddie with the Cleveland Guardians. Rex saying one of the best photos I want is a Nolan Bow dual auto. It's simply Nolan with the blood pouring down his face and Bow signed with an arrow pointing to his lip. Nice. Rex saying Rangers definitely could go to the postseason again. I don't know if that's a hot take. They better be going to the postseason with that with that roster, that lineup. Two World Seas in a row is, is almost impossible. Yeah, these days I feel like it that is a difficult task. But what about in the next like I know two is in a row, which is why I kind of framed it as framed it as like what about the next five seasons? Do they knock out a World Series in the next three to five seasons? Does Alex call me maybe? Rick with the Nats, that's to fifty. Richard saying Rangers have a good chance. Pitches that were hurt will be back. That's true. They, they did it without Jacob DeGrom. And there's Mark Appel. Our final autograph for the fight in Phil's. Let's be for Sean Aldinger with that one. All right, any, 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 anything else, especial, before? No? No, just a bunch of nice stuff. All card ship, a lot of great stuff here. Yeah, that was a fun break, Rick. We got more in the store, ladies and gentlemen, if you want it. We got, let's give away some stuff. We got, and I'll do a recap. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, perfect, we got ten. We'll do front back, and then I'll do a recap. Let's uh, go to random.org. 
There's a uh, fresh list right there. We'll do front back randomizers. And then everyone has a shot. A third of these spots will get a shot at those 3D glasses. The 3D glasses actually look pretty cool. Do they all have the same design on them? No, they all have different designs on them. So these will just be randomly given to you by the shipping team, whoever's a winner of these. And that's pretty nice. All right, so let's flip back over here. We'll use one dice roll for both lists. Good luck, everybody. It's gonna be four and a six, 10 times each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10th and final time. So after 10 backsides, we'll get, we'll get these cards. Obviously you can tell by the backside because it has the serial number and all the other stuff on the back. So backside teams will get those. Top 10, after 10, we'll get uh, some 3D glasses. Enjoy those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So after 10, we got Eric, Richard, Richard, Matt, Jeremy, Sean, Rick, Matt, Eddie, and Michael. Top 10 after 10, 3D glasses going your way. Have fun with those. I'm Joe for Jaspies, oh, recap. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Almost forgetting the recap. There's your autograph recap. That was Freddie Freeman, Sean Green, Pudge, Zito, Jim Rice. That was number to 15. Bobby Witt Jr. Got some nice stuff out of here. Started with the Alec Burleson Baby Boomers autograph. Nice stuff and like a, and a lot of uh, a lot of numbered cards as well. A lot of nice color. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Now we're done. We'll see you next time for the next Archives break. Bye bye.